Hello dear learner, welcome again. Dear students, in the previous uh, four videos, I have tried to cover all the four chapters of business economics. So, but in this video, dear students, I am going to discuss MCQ question bank practice questions on banking and finance. There were many uh, comments from you people to make uh, videos on banking and finance too. So that's why I have made uh, the uh, MCQ questions based on chapter number one. So dear students, if you have still not subscribed my channel, this is the channel link. You can visit on the channel and subscribe it and share it with your friends. Okay, so move, let us move on to the topics which I have covered. These are the topic and these are the topics of first chapter of banking and finance. Okay, so let us quickly jump on to the first question. First question is on which date was the Reserve Bank of India established? April 1st, 1935, July 12, 1982, January 1st, 1949, August 15, 1947. So we know that this was established in April 1st, 1935. So A is the correct answer. Next question. Original headquarters of RBI were located at which of the following place? Calcutta, Bombay, Delhi, Chennai. Usually you are aware, many of you, that the headquarter of RBI now is in Bombay or current Mumbai. Originally it was in Calcutta earlier. In 1937, the headquarter is shifted to then Bombay. Okay. But um, originally, initially it was in Calcutta only. Now we have main headquarter at uh, Mumbai and 19 regional offices across different cities. So here correct answer is A that is Calcutta. Next question. In which year was the Banking Regulation Act? passed in India. 1947, 35, 49, 65, the Banking Regulation Act, popularly known as BR Act, was you know, enacted in 1949. In which year the first Bank of India, that is Bank of Hindustan, was established? 1870, 1770, 1795, 1880. So it was uh, established in 1770. Next question, which is the oldest joint stock bank of India. So any guess Allahabad Bank, Bank of Baroda, Bank of India, Patiala Bank. The correct answer is the oldest joint stock bank is Allahabad Bank A. Moving to the next, what was the name of State Bank of India before it was created by SBI Act? Imperial Bank of Bengal, Imperial Bank of Madras, Imperial Bank of Hindustan, Imperial Bank of India. So before uh, making it SBI, it was Imperial Bank of India. So D is the correct answer. What were the correct locations of three presidency banks during British India? Calcutta, Bombay, Madras, Surat, Bombay, Calcutta, Surat, Madras, Bombay, Madras, Calcutta, Surat. So the three presidency bank was Bank of Bengal, Bank of Bombay, Bank of Madras. So these at three places, Calcutta, Bombay and Madras. Presidency banks were located in these three uh, places. Moving to the next, which among the following was the first bank purely managed by Indians, Bank of India, Punjab National Bank, Allahabad Bank, Bank of Baroda. Purely managed by Indian Bank was PNB, Punjab National Bank. How many banks were nationalized on 19 July 1969, 15, 6, 9, 14. In fact, on this date, 14 banks were nationalized. First, wave of nationalization of banks in, in 1969. 
in April 1980, that is second nationalization of bank, dash banks were nationalized in India, 14, 12, 6, 9. So on this date, 1980, six more banks uh, were nationalized in India. In which year were the subsidiaries of SBI nationalized? 1955, 1959, 1969, 1972. The subsidiary bank, there were seven subsidiary banks. They were nationalized in 1959, whereas SBI was nationalized in 1955. So we are talking here about subsidiary bank, which was nationalized in 1959. Moving to the next, Imperial Bank of India was nationalized in which year? 1945, 1955, 1965, 1959. So Imperial Bank, which later on after nationalization was renamed as State Bank of India, was nationalized in 1955. So Imperial Bank was in fact the SBA is now the State Bank of India. Okay, so don't get confused. Imperial Bank of India was nationalized in 1955 and renamed as the State Bank of India. Moving to the next, which among the following banks formed the Imperial Bank of India in 1921? In fact, this Imperial Bank was created out of three presidency banks, Bank of Bombay, Bank of Madras, Bank of Bengal. So, all of the above is the correct answer which was merged together 921 and made as Imperial Bank of India. Moving to the next, which among the following is correct? State Bank of India originated as Bank of Calcutta in June 1806. Bank of Calcutta was renamed as Bank of Bengal. Both of above, none of the above. So the C is the correct answer. Okay. Moving to the next, the largest and oldest bank is still in existence is this must you must be knowing the largest and in existence bank is a state bank of India. C is the correct answer without any doubt. Moving to the next first bank established in India was Bank of India, Bank of Hindustan, General Bank of India, IDBI. So it is bank, so bank of Hindustan. Uh, Scheduled bank is one that is listed in the dash of the RBI Act 1934. Which schedule of RBI Act? It is the second schedule of RBI Act. So B is the correct answer. What is the minimum paid up cap capital of a bank must have to be eligible for inclusion the second schedule to the Reserve Bank of India Act 1934. 5 lakh, 10 lakh, 10 crore, 5 crore. So the minimum paid up capital required is rupees 5 lakh to be included in the second schedule of RBI Act. What is the share of central government uh, in share capital of RRBs, regional rural banks, 15%, 35%, 50%, 55%. The correct answer, the share of central government is 50%, whereas state government, it is 15% and a sponsored bank contributes to it 35%. So here, the correct answer is uh, 50%. So central government, again, I'm repeating 50%. State government 15% and sponsor bank 35%. But here the correct answer for central bank is 50%. Okay, moving to the next. In which year did the Hilton Young Commission submit its report? 1926, 1921, 35, 1947. Correct answer is the Hilton Young Commission, which is also known as Royal Commission, was submitted report in 1926. And on this recommendation only RBI Act was, RBI was created. Then what is the full form of NBFC, non-bank financial competition, non-bank foreign company, non-banking financial company, non-banking finance corporation. So correct answer here is non-banking financial company. Moving to the next, the word bank has been derived from the Latin word dash which means bench in English, bankers, banco, banka, bank. In fact, the bank has root to all these words. But here we are talking about Latin word. So among these four, first one is the Latin word that is bankus, which means bench, which is 
uh, is the root of the, this English word bank. Whereas this banco and banca are Italian word and this bank is the French word. Okay, so here correct answer is A, bankus, which is a Latin word, right, from where this word bank is derived. Moving to the next, Bank of Venice was established in 1150, 1250, 1157, 1357. Correct answer is 1157. Bank of Venice was established in 1157. Bank of Amsterdam was established in 1609, 1650, 1157, 1357. So Bank of Amsterdam was established in 1609. Moving to the next, Brandenburg Bank is the oldest private bank in Germany established in 1609, 1590, 1557, 1357. So this Brandenburg was established in 1590. Bank of England was established in the year 1609, 1519, 1694, 1357. Correct answer is 1694. Bank of England was established in 1694. DAS is the oldest surviving bank in the world. Still, it is there. It was established in 1472 in the Tuscan city of Siena. So, you got the hint. The bank was named as uh, Banca Monte di Pasci di Siena. First one. This is the correct answer, which is the oldest surviving bank in Tuscan city of Siena in Italy. Moving to the next, the Indian banking system is classified into DAS categories 2, 3, 4, 5. So, Indian banking system is classified into four categories. On the top is the RBI, first one, and the second is the commercial bank, uh, and the second is the cooperative bank, and third is the regional rural bank. So, these four categorization is there, broad categorization. Moving to the next, rural areas are largely served by rural cooperative credit institutions and it has a DAS tier structure, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it has a three tier structure. At the top is the state cooperative bank, at the district level, district cooperative bank, okay, and at the uh, rural level, village level there is a society called PAX, Primary Agriculture Credit Society, PACS. Okay, so there is a three-tier system. Moving to the next, State Bank of India had DAS associate banks which are now merged with SBI 2357. No doubt it is seven. There were seven associate banks which were merged into SBI. Now there is only single entity. Okay, moving to the next. Okay.